All right, guys, we got another antique uh, lever lock from Lockpicking Lebowski to take a crack at. Uh, I have no idea how old this is. I have no notes. Uh, you can see for yourself, MW Company from New Haven, Connecticut, USA. We do have a chance to look at the key. No openings on this thing to mess around with. And the key, of course, is a weird looking thing, as are most of the dude's locks. So we got a split key to go around that little split spinner in the middle there. So we slide it in and rotate it just a little bit and it's a spring-loaded locking shackle. So it's kind of weird. And here's another weird thing. Let's take that key out of there. Set him down. Unlike most lever locks which require the key in order to lock it, this one looks like it has spring-loaded uh, locking jaws. So let's take another quick look at that. Maybe we can cheat a little bit. So there's your locking bars. There's looks like one on that side, and there's three on that side. And you can see I'm pulling apart. So it's actually grabbing from both sides. One is locking into that cut, and the other is locking into the other cut. Notice how much further that down that is down from that one. So let's take that key out of there, lock it back up, and you can see, I mean, that shackle, the cutout is way down there. So you're going to have a lot of trouble trying to uh, bypass that. Likewise, you have to bypass the other side, and it's like right down in here somewhere. That little ear and the angle prevent us from shimming it. My favorite bypass. So now we're going to be forced to pick it. And I think the best way to do that would probably be use a piece of wire, but I, I think the problem is going to be this is my smallest wire, and he's way too tall. And I tried this earlier. He won't even shoehorn up inside of there. So it there's actually a chamber to limit the size of the tool and the size of the key. So I can't just shove them up in there and then kind of angle them around. I'm actually going to have to make a, uh, a pick for this thing. What I'm going to do, though, i got some wire here. I'm just going to take a piece of wire, cut a bend about that exact length, put a little handle on it, and let's see if we can't get into this thing. All right, guys, this is what I came up with. Nothing special, just a piece of bend wire with some... Well, I'll show you. I know there's going to be all kinds of questions, so... All you do is you take a piece of wire, and I got all of mine different sizes off of eBay. They call it piano wire. I bent the handle just like this, and instead of dipping it in plastic dip like this one, I took some marine grade shrink wrap, and I put one layer on it. And then after that set, I put a second layer on it, and then I clamped it up in my vise, which left this really cool little crosshatch, so good grip. But because it's marine grade, it's maybe the glue. This thing is really solid. It's like a solid plastic, giving me a good grip. When you got something like that, it kind of flexes. This, there's no flex. And then I put a bend in it, ground it down so that it fits perfectly into that hole. Just barely will slide in there. So that's what we're going to be using. So let's get this junk out of our way. All right. All I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little pressure, even though this is spring-loaded, I have a reason. I'm going to put pressure on that shackle so that if I happen to pick a lever, there'll be a slight given that shackle telling me that I picked a lever, and then I can move on to the next one. So let's slide in there, apply a little pressure, and see if we can find a binding lever. On that side, they are all springy. So let's go take a look at the other side. I felt a little bit of give in the shackle. And the rest of them, oh, another click. I think there's two per side, looking, um, four per, two per side for a total of four levers. Felt a little more give in the core there. I mean, in the shack. And there we go. All right. I'll take it. All right. How easy was that? It's only four levers. Again, there's what your key looks like. But you notice it's a double-sided key. So, you know, you guys are wondering, how did I know? Well, this is a perfect example of when knowing how a lock works really plays to your advantage. So let's take a look. I am going to cut this open. No, I'm not. The dude would kill me. But as it happens, I've had another one around here for quite a while. 
that was actually damaged. And it's exactly the same kind of lock, the same. There's just no spinner in this one. It was just a regular, I'll show you, see if I can keep everything from falling out. It was just a regular keyway, but the mechanism is exactly the same. You can see by comparing these two levers, they might even have come out of the same factory. So perfectly identical. The only difference is this is six lever and that one was only four. The reason, I mean, even though the shackle was spring-loaded on that one, this one it's not. But the reason I was pushing up on that is because I was trying to find the binding order of these levers. Now, of course, I was picking with this tool, but I'm going to use a probe because I'd be a little bit awkward. All I was doing is reaching in through the keyway, putting pressure on the shackle to cause one or more of these levers to bind in the cutouts in the shackle. And then I was simply pushing the levers to seeing if it was a binder, and if it was free, like that one, I was just moving on to the next one. And I just kept moving from lever to lever, trying to find the, the right, the, uh, trying to find the binder. Now I'm probably going to drop this because it's going to fall apart, but you see how it worked. And then when you reach the binder, and it's probably on the other side on this one, he'll pop out, and then you just start looking for the next binder. Very logically process through it, and when, there's no tensioner on this one. As soon as you pop all the levers up and out of your way, that's when the shackle is released, and in that case, the spring threw that one open. And this one, you'd have to pull it open. Anyway, knowing how the lock works will always play to your benefit. So if at all possible, take a look at a lock, see how it works before you make your attack. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe, stay legal. Dude, thanks for loaning me the lock. Thanks, guys.